Uh, speaking to Jamie Olsen ahead of a, another weekend in the National League. Jamie, uh, last weekend, you know, it's a, a tough result against Leeds, but a fairly ex- acceptable performance. You go to Peterborough and you, you rather let yourselves down in the, in the first 15 minutes and maybe too much of an uphill task from there. How, how do you assess those two games and the two performances? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's certainly positives in terms of the effort. I mean, Saturday scoreline, I don't think, reflected the game. Um, scoreline kind of got away from us, but uh, I actually thought we worked extremely hard and, you know, that they were pretty ruthless when we made a mistake. They punished us and Gospel absolutely stood on his head. You know, head, you know I, he's a top goalie. I always say I think he's the best goalie in this league, but that's as good as I've seen him. I felt like we could play two hours and probably wouldn't have scored. But uh, Sunday night's just typical us. We... You know, we roll in there and we play 40 great minutes and are undone by 20 really poor minutes. So uh, just not ready to go in the first period. And, you know, we're 4-0 down in 15 minutes. And, you know, if it isn't for Ben Norton in there, who makes a couple of huge grade A saves, that scoreline could have been a lot more. But, uh, you know, we get in, in the period break and, you know, have a bit of a stern talk and I rally the troops and kind of give a few guys, you know, a little bit of a piece of my mind about how we were performing and then, they respond with, like, say, probably 20 minutes, the, the best hockey that we've had all season. And, and it's just frustrating because, yeah, um, the second and third, we were superb. You know, we, to a man, we worked extremely hard, fought in, played for hard for each other. And, yeah, you know, we got ourselves back to the point where I really felt like we were going to tie the game up there. And we actually had a great chance to tie it up and didn't quite get it over the line, but uh, gave ourselves just too much to do after the first um, 20 minutes. And kind of similar story to a lot of this year, unfortunately. Uh, this weekend, you, you start off at home against uh, the Steel Dogs, a, a game of the, the two teams at the bottom of the table. The two teams probably have nothing to play for at this point. Is, is it a case of trying to show show your level after a, a disappointing performance and a disappointing result when you played them earlier this month? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I said last weekend, you know, there's a lot of pride in the room. And um, I think the last couple of weekends, you know, if you've watched the games, I think the one thing I think, I'd like people to think is that you can see how hard the guys are still working and how passionate they are about, you know, making sure we still get results here. Um, there's not going to be any let up in that to the end of the season. It hasn't been a good enough year. We all know that we accept that, but we're going to do everything we can to finish on a strong note as much as we can. But the performance in Sheffield, you know, again, talking like we just did about the Peterborough was exactly the same, you know, 40 minutes in Sheffield, we were really poor and then 20 minutes we were unbelievable, but uh, we give ourselves too much of a mountain to climb in the, in the opening two periods to put it back. Um, so, yeah, we need to correct that this weekend. Um, you know, we still have a fan base here, a passionate, who are coming out in their numbers and supporting, and we owe them we owe them a lot more wins than we've given them. So, um, you know, Saturday night, we're going to be coming out here with a ton of energy and some pride to to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get another W in the, in the win column here. Uh, go, kind of going back on what I just said, uh, in terms of the poor result and performance against Sheffield uh, last time you played them, this season, both Sheffield and Bees have been in games you've, you've played well and you, you've picked up a fair amount of your, your wins this season against those two teams. Do you, do you think that perhaps plays into your preparation or, or their preparation in that you've had their number at times this season? Um, yeah, maybe not the preparation, but um, I think it gives us some confidence and belief, which is, you know, obviously something that's been tough this year. You know, mentally it's been challenging for the guys when we've had certainly that big, you know, losing streak. Um, you know, you're going into games and I think I touched on it before, you know, we become quite mentally fragile but uh, I think approaching this weekend you know we've got to take positives from the last four or five games in terms of our work rate and how we're battling for each other um, and these are two teams like you said that we've had good results we've shown that we can compete and beat both of these teams so um, it would be no different uh, any other weekend here you know Saturday night we want to win um, I think a couple of the games in this building against the Steel Dogs have been really good this year and last year. Um, we've had a really great series with them, so uh, expecting nothing to be different. You know, it'll be a tough game, it'll be a tight game, but you know, we've got to have some belief that we can win and hopefully roll that into Sunday and Bees. Then, of course, uh, watching this on, on Friday yesterday, you announced the departure of Brennan Feezy. How obviously that's a huge loss. Your, your top goal scorer, your top point scorer but also a big guy in the room, it seems. He spoke very well of, of yourself and, and the club. How can you, how do you fill that gap? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, he approached me and Richie and uh, asked us for a conversation. And, and unfortunately, yeah, it was a bit of a bombshell that he dropped to say that, uh, you know, the opportunity had come up and uh, he'd known about it for a week or two. But I think 
was wrestling with the decision a little bit. You know, he wanted to stay and finish the year. He's close with the boys here. Um, but, you know, ultimately, you know, when we were sat and chatting to him and he explained what it was and what he was going to get from it, it, it was just obviously it was too hard for him to turn down. And, uh, you know, we have to respect that and we do. Um, you know, Fizi's a great guy. Absolute tons of time for him. You know, he's well liked in the room with the guys. So it, it is tough. There are things outside of hockey that, you know, you have to, you have to accept happen and you know it's just frustrating because you know we've had a lots of ins and outs and things like this this year but um yeah you know we're obviously sorry to see him go um but you know the door's always open for the future and, and, and in the meantime it means like say we've got to fill that gap and you know we're lucky we have spare imports around so you know we're going to see more of max and kyle now down the the last uh five week stretch but um you know, in particularly, you know, the goal scoring, you know, like that's what we brought fees in to be a goal scorer. And uh, he showed that, you know, that's what he is. You know, he's an elite goal scorer, scores big goals at big times, finds ways. So, um, yeah, across the group, we're going to have to pick that up a little bit. Um, you, you've performance wise, the last two weeks have, have improved. Uh, part of that, perhaps down to Dan Hardy, who's, who's started to settle into the lineup after a, a couple of weeks where maybe just getting up to, to match fitness. How important do you think he'll be down the stretch now as, as perhaps your your go-to import on the on the front end. Yeah, I mean it's taken him a bit of time and, and we were expecting that. You know, he hadn't played this season, hadn't played since his uni uh league finish, which was the end of February last year. So, you know, he'd been out ten months, ten, eleven months out of competitive hockey. So it's it's always gonna be a transition to get back playing and obviously a new country and diff slightly different style and new teammates. So um yeah, you know, it's taken him a few weeks, but I thought last weekend we started to see him get his feet under him um you know practices you're starting to see it now like he's getting going and you know with fees out now um yeah there'll be a little I wouldn't say pressure but a little bit more expectation on him you know obviously be getting some more minutes and you know he'll be a bit more of a go-to guy on the power play we hope um but you know he's more than capable you know bringing him in his resume the video we've seen you know uh i know exactly what he's got in the tank so it's just kind of getting him back to that level and you know excited to see if we can get him to that point and, and really see the best of him in over the final five weeks here. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks.